Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with Fishing Planet and we are here at the Alaska map again and we're going to do some more float fishing. This time I think we're going to go for the Dolly Varden Trout and I'm still basically using the same tackles I did before, the Brutus 10 foot by 10 inch, the Spirit Double Punch 6500 and I'm going to set this to about 20 inches 20 inches seems to work best you can use the chubby bobber or one of the pear bobbers and anything from about a one odd hook to a four odd hook usually works but if you notice we're we're here on a partly cloudy day which honestly here in Alaska is probably the best time to fish but we're going back to the angling the middle earth here this is the best place to catch the Dolly Varden. Now you can catch them on the top peg, but this is where I catch them most often. I, right down here, I think there's been a lot of other people that have found this place to be quite prolific for a lot of different types of fish. That includes sockeye, especially right in this area here. Just depends on the time you fish and what you use to fish with. But anywhere around in here, is really good but I like the fish starting right here right next to this rock and I don't know if you notice that rock right at the base of me I like to stand right about there this is one of my favorite locations there's another one I'll show you in a few minutes but you throw it out there and you just let the bobber float you gotta kinda keep your slack up because if something does go after it you wanna be able to pull a th pull the dude in so I just let it float in between those two those two rocks right there, the ones that kind of look long. And yes, I did clip it in the middle there because you're going to have to try this quite a few times. Because this current is so fast, you'll be constantly reeling in, pulling, you know, recasting, pulling in, recasting, but that's the nature of the fishing here. But just like that, you notice how it floats right in between those two elongated rocks. And you'll know when you got something. Usually it'll start to, there you go. It'll start bobbing up and down. Now you can also get the bull trout here as well. So don't be surprised if you get one of those. But usually though I have more luck with them on sunny days. On cloudy days the Dolly Varden seem more prolific. Now you actually see that fish going after that bobber. See him? Now, that's a Dolly Varden, I can tell because he's red. Now, he's just picking at it. I don't know what There he goes. Okay, he's healthy. I'd say at least a trophy. There we go. There's a trophy Dolly Varden. 406, 11.049 pounds, 27.385 inches. Nice fish. Very nice fish, and they love these shiners. Now, there's quite a few things they like to go after. Shiners seems to be their favorite for the float fishing. We're going to see if we can't get us another one here. Alright, I think I'm going to change it up here a little bit, guys. I'm going to go in here and... I think we're going to try a little crankbait. Because you can catch them with crankbait and you can catch them with those nymphs. I'll show you the crankbait first. Now you want the... Sh the shallow crankbait, but not this real shallow. About six foot is pretty much what you need. That would be the the one odd hook. I mean three odd hook. I'm sorry, I was looking at it wrong. And you want to cast it right in between those two elongated rocks. 
Now you can get them on the other side, but that seems to be the most lucky place to catch them. And you are going to get snags, but with this heavy line, I wouldn't worry about it. You're not going to break it. There we go. He was, I almost had him in. Check it out. He's not huge. He's only about an 8-pounder, but still, he's a, he's a trophy. Alright, let's see if we can't scare up another one. Alright guys, I'm switching to another day here, and it happens to be a cloudy day, and the fishing on cloudy days are very different. There's not a, you don't really have a lot of luck with these types of fish here early in the day. It has to be later in the day, and it looks like it's raining, <laughs> so we're going to be probably advancing this quite a bit. But well, let's go ahead and get to our location first. And we're going back to our float fishing here. Right now I'm using the 4 out hook because I'm trying to catch a little bit bigger trophies if I can. I don't catch them as much on cloudy days as I do on partially cloudy days. And on sunny days I really get the bull trout. So you can catch a Dolly Varden on sunny days obviously but that seems to be the the hot time for the for the bull trout in this location and I will be doing a video soon on catching those guys so you might want to give me a day or two to get that out truth be known I already have the footage but Time is it of an essence. It takes a lot of time to put these videos together. Alright, we're getting a bite here. Uh, he is not that serious about it. There he goes, finally. Okay, he's a he's a hefty one. Wow. Yep, it's a Dolly Varden. I can see his his coloration. Okay, that's a good size one. That's almost 13 pounds. It's the biggest one so far. I'm gonna try casting on the other side of the rock this time. If you notice, I'm now over further on the left. There's another rock over here, and I sometimes fish on this side just to kind of mix things up a little bit. But you want to throw it out about 51 feet when you get over here. I'm sorry about that, guys, but as I'm, as you know. I kind of clip a lot of these together. This is another day. It just happens to be another partly cloudy day. Yeah, I was fishing there for a while and I didn't get anything more. And I had to quit fishing. And with Fishing Planet, when you come back, it isn't always right, right the way you left it left off with. I mean, it was a cloudy day when I left, but now it's a partly cloudy. But anyway, this is the rock I was talking about. And like I said a little while ago, about 51 feet. Well, 50 feet's close enough. That just seems to be the best distance for me. Just let it float. I think I'm getting a bite. About a solid bite. Yep. It's, it's bobbing. It's bobbing. Come on, fish. 
is sometimes they'll just play with it and play with it and then they'll quit. That's real life for you guys. And you have to reel it in and recast it. There we go. We got him that time. Yeah, he's straining that that line quite a bit. It wasn't in the red, but it was way in the orange. Let's see what he is. Uh, almost 12 pounds. Not bad. Not bad. Ugh. That was bad. Every now and then I just really mess up on my cast. I think we're going to come back over to this one rock that I also like to fish at. I haven't been catching any for a little bit, so maybe I need to mix things up a little bit. Try over here on this side. Uh, try over here on this side. <laughs> okay, this is getting ridiculous. Cast the line. Thank you. Stupid. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. Okay, we gotta get that in. Otherwise, it's not gonna float between the two rocks. There we go. And it's pretty close. I mean, it's in the, you know, anywhere from 30 to 28 feet. But if it goes up against those rocks, you're not going to catch anything. It has to go right in between them. Keep the slack up, guys. you got to keep the slack up. And one is... There we go. There we go. We got him. Another 12-pounder. try this a couple more times and I might switch it up to use a different type of bait just to show you you don't have to use just shiners or flow fishing because not everybody likes that this just happens to be the way I like to fish thought it looked like something was biting, but maybe not. Nope. Alright, let's, let's switch this up a little bit here, guys. Okay, we're going to use our Sal Monster here. I think I'm going to show you those nymphs or whatever they're called. I need a third ounce jig head and one of these purple. I'll go with the three inch. Now I've only fished with them a little bit. It does say it's a bit light but that really doesn't matter so much. But cast it pretty much in the same area that I did with the crankbait. And I like to use the stop and go with these guys. Now, I have cut, caught the Dolly Varden with these, but to be perfectly honest, I'm just not a rubber worm enthusiast. <laughs> but a lot of people are, and I definitely want to show you guys that you can catch them with this. Me, I prefer the spoons, the crankbaits, and especially flow fishing. That's my favorite way to fish. Yeah, I didn't like, didn't like the way I cast that. 
wanted it to go right there. Okay, there we go. Now one of the reasons I don't like fishing with these here is because the current is so strong that even when you start with it over far to the left, by the time you're done, it seems like you're getting caught up on the rocks. Right now I'm just using a slow retrieve. I think I'm going to try lift and drop this time. Of course when I did this off camera, stop and go worked. Now of course, it's not going to, so <laughs> we'll mix it up a little bit. Ah, looks like these guys are going to mess with me today. They're not going to cooperate. Uh, I'm going to have advance time a little bit, see if that doesn't make a difference. Go back to the stop and go. Yeah, the peak is actually around six, seven o'clock on partly cloud. There we go. I finally caught him at the last minute. <laughs> Not bad, twelve pounds. All right, just like I said, right out about here. And I'll be honest, I tried the slow retrieve and the... I tried the slow retrieve and the lift and drop and didn't have a whole lot of luck with those retrievals. Alright guys, I am just not having the best of times with this. I don't care for it. <coughs> I want to go back to my old favorite here. If you like those rubber worms, I'm more power to you. I'm just not that big of a fan. This is the way I like to do it, guys. I'm in my comfort zone. What the heck? Oh, come on. I didn't pull it away. Uh, every now and then that kind of thing happens, and I just don't get it. I think it's a glitch. That fish was way over there. Uh, oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Check it out. Holy crap, he is like right there there come on I was about to give up come on take it damn it I can see him perfectly there he goes Okay, let's see what this guy is. Holy crap, that's a unique. Okay, guys, that's my first one. Unique Dolly Varden. 20.752 pounds, 33 inches, 706 XP. Ooh, isn't he big? Nice. That's my first one, guys. First unique Dolly Varden. Looks like it's 6, 15 a.m., part of the cloudy day. My guess is between 6 and probably 8 a.m. is the time to go after these guys. I really didn't know when the fish warm, so that was just kind of luck.
Got the four rod hook and shiners. Just so you know. Anyway, guys, I think that's about it for one day. So please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. Hopefully it will be the bull trout. And until then, guys, I guess I will see you later. Bye-bye. Oh, one more. <laughs> this time, goodbye for real. Another trophy. 13 pounds. <laughs>